thanks for tuning into my channel and clicking on my video. So as you can tell, I'm wearing a yellow shirt and everything because I tried to do like a springy yellow eyeshadow look today. So it's a cut crease like always. I know I always do cut creases. But um, yeah, for this eyeshadow look, I used the Take Me Back to Brazil palette and the Zulu by Julius Place. I ended up using a few shadows from each palette. Um... I don't know, I've really been using the Julius palette place a lot because I don't know, I really like it. And I really like the yellow that's in that palette. So, yeah, I want to do something yellow. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this look. So, yeah, if you guys want to see how I did this eyeshadow look, then just keep on watching my video. Okay, so the first color that I'm going to take on uh, Morphe 505 brush is going to be the yellow from the Julius palette. And I'm just going to put it above my crease. And blend it like really high close to my brow this 505 brush is like super fluffy and like I feel like it makes the blending uh, like you're blending uh, easier because it's so fluffy you know so lately like mainly all my colorful looks have been using the I've been using the Juvia's palette and I don't know I really like that palette like it only has like nine colors but I really like the way like the colors are like I love the colors and this eyeshadow look, also, I'm not bringing it out all the way to my to my brow. I'm kind of just keeping it right above my natural crease, like just like, like this, you see? And just blending it. I'm not trying to blend it further than that. Just keep it like round, like a round shape. And also, I went, I went to uh, Walmart and I got a new, like, they laugh on the fabric. It's a fabric, uh, it's just from the fabric department, I mean, like. I went and I just got like a like a regular like cotton black fabric. Like it's not reflective or anything so the lights won't reflect back all weird, you know. So and I it looks good, like the lights don't reflect. So that was good. I bought this one and also a blue one, so I'll probably use the blue one next time. I still haven't filmed the video with my husband. I know I said I was, but I'm gonna probably upload it uh soon like we need to record it like today or tomorrow i don't know oh guys so also i went i because since we're going to the valley like in two weeks i uh went out and i bought some clothes because like honestly i i only like wear t-shirts here like that's all i ever wear like t-shirts i don't really have that much nice clothes i only have like three nice shirts like they're not t-shirts you know so i went to the stores and i bought some stuff for me for so some clothes because i don't have any like nice dressy clothes so I went and I think I'm gonna record like a haul. I should I think I'm gonna do that. So I could show you guys what I got. Okay, so now the next color that I'm gonna take is uh orange from the same Julius palette. And I'm gonna get the BH Cosmetics number six brush. It's just like a thin, like a small little fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna get the orange and I'm gonna put it right above my crease. Like where right where I'm gonna cut the crease with the concealer. I'm going to put the orange there, and I'm not going to put a lot. I just want it to be, like, a little darker. That way, um, the colors on my lid stand out more, you know? And also, I'm just blending in the same motion. Also, like, uh, I already have, like, 105 subscribers. I already have, like, 100-some subscribers. So, thank you guys for subscribing. I'm going to be doing a giveaway, like I said in my last, last video, or my last video. Um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway when I reach 150, I think, because, I mean, I already reached 100 and I didn't even prepare for a giveaway, so. Probably till I reach 150, yeah, I'll do a giveaway, so. Thank you, everyone, for subscribing, and I'll do, I'll, I'll show you guys what I get for the giveaway and all that stuff, so you guys can know what's up, but. And also, I want, I've been wanting to, like, do vlogs, like, when I go out to the stores and stuff, but I don't have a little, I don't have a little car, a camera mount for my car. So, I need to buy one of those. That way I could, like, take my camera and record myself, you know? And also, I need, like, I don't know. I guess I need, like, stuff to record. Because also, I want to record, like, I want to vlog when I go to the valley, like. So, you guys can see the valley. Whoever uh, whoever my subscribers is not from the valley, so you guys can see. Okay, so now the next step is to take uh, concealer and my brush that I always use to cut my crease and I'm just taking concealer and actually you guys this concealer I bought it like I think in my last Ulta haul that I showed you guys I bought this concealer and I'm kind of almost finishing it already like because I've been doing like makeup like I've been doing makeup more often lately like more than normal 
So now I'm just gonna come and crease and it's gonna be a full lid cut crease. Okay, so they already cut the crease and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fill it in with a concealer that is already there. Cause I noticed that whenever I put a lot of concealer like on my lid and I cut it, like it's hard for the eyeshadow to stick on it. Cause it's like so like wet with concealer, you know, like, so if you guys are gonna do this, like don't put that much concealer cause then you're gonna have a hard time like putting shadow on the lid. And like what happened right now was I put too much on this eye and the brush that I was using with the eyeshadow that I was trying to put on here, it would it got dirty with concealer. So you don't want your shadows to get all dirty with concealer, like in the little pan. So so just kind of tap it. And what I'm doing is I'm cleaning the I'm cleaning the brush that I'm using just so I could take a little bit more off. But I'm just trying to blend it also. Okay, so there. So now the next color that I'm gonna be using is gonna be. I'm going to get a small little M421 brush, it's just a flat brush, and I'm going to be uh, taking the color, this color, it's like a white, it's like a white shimmery color, and it's from the BH Cosmetics uh, Brazil palette, and I'm just going to get that white color, and I'm going to put it in my inner corner, in the first half, in the first part of my lid, and I'm just going to pack it on, I'm, try I'm trying also not to swipe it on, because if you swipe it on, like the concealer will move like and that's because I, I try not to put that much but I'm still kind of like scared to like move it around too much so I'm just like tapping it on and this white is like a shimmery it's kind of shimmery it's not super shimmery but it's like a little metallic okay so now I'm gonna take that same shade and I'm gonna put it on the outer part of my lid and just pack it on and I'm grabbing a lot on the brush like a lot And I kind of left the middle of my lid blank, so right now I'm going to put another color. Okay, now the next color that I'm going to take, I'm going to get another brush. It's a M213 Morphe, and it's also a flat little brush. And I'm going to take the yellow that's in the middle of the BH Cosmetics, take me back to Brazil palette. And I'm just going to get a lot of it on that little brush, and I'm going to pack it on in the center part of my lid. And I'm going to make it kind of like in a V shape. like, And I'm going to blend it, so... I'm putting it really close to the edge just to pack it on there. Now I'm just going to go back and add a little bit more of the white just to blend it with a yellow. Okay, so there now the next step is gonna be to do your eyeliner. And for the eyeliner, I'm um, using the one that I always use, the Tarte Tartis Clay Paint Liner. Okay, so there I already did my eyeliner. Now uh, I'm gonna do the rest of my face and do a chongo on my hair. Uh, do my hair and then I'm gonna come back to show you guys the finished look. Okay guys, so here is uh, me zooming into the eyeshadow look. And I hope you guys like this look. I really like the way it turned out. It's kinda lighter, like a lighter look than I would like what I normally do, but I liked it. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys like, um, you guys can see my background, but, uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this eyeshadow look, and if you did, um, and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I already have, like, 105 subscribers, thanks everybody who subscribed, uh, and like this video, comment, uh, let me know anything, like, you know, tips or suggestions on what, uh, my next eyeshadow look should be, or any type of video, really, like, anything else, um, cause I really wanna record other types of videos, but, yeah, just let me know what you guys wanna see, or, you know, so, um, yeah, thanks for watching this video, and uh, I'll post pictures at the end right now of my eyeshadow look so you guys can see it. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.